this is Sandra Ayan, your home care provider. How are ya? Put these windows up. So this morning, I got a phone call from the animal control. And I'm like, okay. Um, I missed the call. And I was like, okay, I gotta call him. Sorry. I'm like, I gotta call them. So I'm on my way over there right now. I'm a little. <clears throat> I called and I talked to them, and they told me that there were some allegations of my dogs. So you guys might think that all the bullying and all the harassment and the comments and suggestions and has stopped right no it hasn't stopped you guys it has not stopped at all people are still hating people are still finding ways to hurt me hurt my dogs hurt my kids they haven't stopped you guys. And you know what the audacity is? That Alex said that he would, if he told people to leave me alone, that they would leave me alone. That's what he said. And I'm thinking to myself, how, how does one person have that much power? They don't. They don't have that much power. They may think they do, but they don't. Sooner or later, it all comes down and it's just not, it's not, sorry. I told you guys I smoke a lot. I don't like to smell like cigarette. So I'm headed to the animal control right now and I'm gonna tell them. Um, I have to fix a couple of holes in the, in the fence, which is not a problem. I, I do it all the time. But there, and so two of my dogs got out. They were running all over the place. Them poor babies. You know, I, I, they're tired of being cooped up in the back so I literally spend an hour a day in the morning an hour a day in the afternoon and I really don't take them out at nighttime because I realize that people also have the right you know to walk their dogs I I don't have to do that I let them use the restroom in the front yard and I'm constantly picking it up because I don't want poop in my front yard so I just let them out in the front yard, let them play, they run around, um, they have fun, and they make me smile, and I'm out there with a bottle of uh, a concoction I made, and then I'm out there with a, uh, a horse whip my sister gave me, which is mainly to intimidate them because I don't like kidding, I don't promote any kind of violence. I've had my days and I'm done with those, you know? So I don't really, I don't, in an argument, an argument has a negative connotation, but in speech class, I learned that an argument is just a disagreement between two opinions. So what I do is, I discuss issues, problems. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go do right now. I'm gonna go stand up for my babies because no one else is going to, and that's what I do, I advocate, I advocate. Um, I'm really, really sad and I'm, that there's still people out there that are just 
falsifying, bringing up false allegations. I am extremely responsible, you guys, so I will assume total responsibility for whatever my dogs incur. You know, the last thing I want to do is is have them bite someone so that that someone has the right or thinks they have the right to say, well, they bit me, so kill them, you know? And, and, and during COVID, everybody went out and got their, they were confined at home and, and they went and they got all kinds of puppies, you know, the kids gotta be entertained. I don't know how Marlena did it, you know? I'm, I'm sorry for you, girl, because I feel you, but I have more patience. I understand that takes a lot of energy so they went they got puppies COVID lasted for about three years then they went and they um returned after COVID was over majority of them returned all of these puppies and they didn't realize that these puppies are now three years old and no one wants a three-year-old dog okay nobody wants um they all want a little puppy but this animal is going to live 15 years you guys 10 to 15 years it's like a child and the dog pounds are saturated and i've heard you know where's that animal activist that came to harass me also i'm not going to say her name but where is she at where is she at if you see the need for these dogs to have homes show me i'm willing to work with you which is the 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 which was the comment that i made you know let's not get our apples and our oranges mixed i'm an orange my dogs are apples can we help my dogs you know um give me peace of mind that my dogs are gonna be okay you know they're gonna be taken care of they're gonna be fed be played with be loved you know they all want love uh, i give them as much as i can majority of the time you know I'm in the house in dirty clothes. They're not dirty. They're just stepped on by the dogs because they jump all over me. You know, I, I took a shower. Hello. <laughs> but anyways, so let me go to the animal control. Let me tell them what's going on. I know they already empathize with my situation and they know that I'm a good dog owner. But if there's someone out there that wants a beautiful American Akita mixed with Pitbull, I'll give you keywords, I'll keep you company, I'll bring you a bag of dog food of 50 pounds every month until my dog dies because I love my dog. There is a God. And he loves his animals and he loves his people and we're all his people and he's the only one that helps me with every single thing that comes against me he's the only one you guys he's the only one i trust he's the only one i believe in and by the grace of god and he knows you know lord if you want to take these dogs away from me and find good homes for them that's all i'm asking i will be responsible but for people to go out there out of their way god forgive them too you know they don't know what they're doing forgive them eventually somebody will see and there goes all the makeup right <laughs> don't worry it's all fake the eyebrows the eyelashes the eyes the teeth i'm all, I'm all fake but that's just on the exterior it's not on the inside on the inside i'm i'm straight as a straight arrow i'm beat around the bush tell you guys the truth a lot of you guys don't like me sorry for speaking up for myself you know it took me a while i was traumatized i'm still traumatized but i'm a better person god bless you guys sorry for the tears if there's anybody out there that can help please 562-281-3219 i'm not afraid to get a phone call and my phone's out there for you have a blessed day